Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and as you can see we are going to continue speaking about Warpets simply because since the introduction of the Warpets in the game uh, like 6 to 5 months ago a lot of changed, uh, like it's way easier to get legendary Warpets uh, slots can be unlocked pretty easier you are getting a lot of regeneration potions out of events so in general, a lot of systems uh, have got changed regarding warpets, and that's why I'm doing updated guides about every single warpet one by one. I have already did regarding Phaedrix, uh, Frostbear, Stripebear, and now I'm going to speak regarding Snow Peak Rock, which have been one of my uh, useful and uh, favorite warpets, I guess, because I have been using uh, Snow Peak Rock since day one. So I kind of have enough experience to speak about this Warpit. As always, I'm going to start speaking about uh, base attributes and which one should you prioritize. I think luck, agility and strength are three main attributes for Snow Peak Rock. It's easy to guess which one is the main attribute whenever you're gonna check the main skill, right? Main skill is only luck, so uh, luck is the main attribute. Uh, I'm gonna repeat again, try to get legendary warpet. I just got the snow peak rock. Uh, I used like 40 regeneration potions. So I could not get legendary one, but with my own experience, it got way, way easier to get legendary warpet. So uh, don't get sad, uh, like in near future, in like a couple of days, I'm sure if you're gonna invest in this snow peak rock, uh, invest, I mean, use your potions, not your money, uh, you are going to get legendary one. Uh, like difference is pretty high for epic uh, warpet uh, maximum stat tier is a tier and for legendary warpet uh, maximum stat is s tier so you can probably see why uh, legendary warpets are so much better right also uh, it, like uh, main skill um, is like up the, is because of these updates uh, the new edition is the stars of the main skills right uh, it's uh, it was kind of hard to get uh, at least main skill on zero star now it's really really hard to get uh, one skill on the main skill of the warped uh, everybody's trying to get it so that's, that would be my advice uh, try to uh, capture highest level warped on the field i just got this one star concentration out of killing 44 levels no pick rock so like this concentration is pretty cool skill legion physical attack percentage determined by luck and what's the most important about concentration is 30 percent chance to deal damage to the target legion when inflicted defense break this defense break buff uh, will be useful for us whenever you're gonna speak about hero pairs for snow peak rock but for now we are speaking about main skill it's like a marksman physical attack uh, damage dealer warped main skill and uh, like my huge advice would be like don't start building your pet until your first skill is on like minimum to one star it's a huge difference between uh, zero star and one star and of course the main skills can't be purchased in the store and like main uh, way to get it is to just capture as much uh, warpets as possible so you will get lucky and you will get uh, one star this is my first um, snow peak rock or in general warpet which i captured and i got uh, one star skill like i don't know i tried a lot but finally it's here right uh, so like since we already spoke about the main skill it's try time to speak about how i would build my snow peak rock it's pretty simple as you can see concentration is the main skill and i went with the forceful concentration i used a lot of this uh, currency to buy this one i think it was 2.9 uh, thousand uh, uh, currency the concentration damage dealt increased by uh, percentage uh, determined by strength as i said luck strength and agility is the main skills and of course, now I'm going to uh, speak how I will build um, in the future my Snow Peak Rock and how it's uh, planned in my head. Now, I will finish the concentration system. Uh, it's hard to get the last one only on the season uh, ending rewards. Um, and uh, uh, get, wait, uh, it, 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 it's pretty impossible. Uh, besides, like uh, if you're going to check um, season ending rewards, uh, for the uh, season, you're gonna see uh, concentration there, uh, super concentration, trigger chance of the concentration increased in percentage, 
and is determined by luck. So if your server will, if your alliance will be, will finish season anointed, like you can use your 1000 uh, currency to get a super concentration. It's also one of three stars, so it's like one of the best uh, things if you are going to build the snow peak rock. So uh, we have like uh, concentration, we have uh, forceful concentration, and we have uh, super concentration. Uh, that's the end of the concentration uh, synergy, uh, which is here, super concentration. After that, like, um, only way for the marksman warpets, in my opinion, to build up is about chain strike. 50% chance to deal additional damage when dealing physical normal attack damage. Whenever you are playing marksman, you are naturally doing a lot of normal attack damage. So, uh, also, we have not spent any agility attribute points on a skill, so chain strike is agility. And I will take it for sure. After that, I'm gonna continue with Wild Chain Strike, like deals additional damage to the target every three times Chain Strike is cast, can be triggered once per second. Also, uh, agility uh, based um, skill, which can work for Snow Peak Rock, and uh, like Steady Fast Chain Strike, 100% chance to receive healing when casting Chain Strike. Like this synergy is totally fine for Marksman units. Uh, it's, it's, it might not be the best one because uh, the Snow Peak Rock is uh, more of a uh, skill damage factor kind of uh, warped, but we don't have uh, yet these skill synergies for skill damage factor uh, warped. That's why uh, like I think Chain Strike uh, combination can be fine. Uh, after that, it depends on your choices. Like There is a couple of ways to finish this warped, which is Blood Roar, crit rate when a warped skill deals physical damage. Uh, also, another choice is Tooth of the Claw, uh, Warped skill physical damage dealt percentage determined by strengths. Or you can go with uh, the build uh, in the end uh, with something like this. Uh, I will find the um, uh, first attack. Uh, your Warped has a 40% chance to deal damage to the target when your deputy casts a rage skill. It's kind of synergy for the Snow Peak Rock. Simply because uh, for the hero pair of the Snow Peak Rock, the uh, marksmen are dealing more uh, uh, skill damage, which means they are casting their rage skill. So, first attack can be finishing touch, and like super first attack can be finishing touch uh, for the Snow Peak Rock, and that's how I will, would build uh, this warpet, and how I will build this por for uh, warpet in the future. And I already started. Finally, I got concentration. And as you can see, I bought the forceful concentration one star. And now one by one, whenever I'm gonna get um, a chain strikes a synergy and like chain strike while chain strike, for sure I'm gonna uh, change the skills and I'm gonna finalize the warped how I just spoke regarding it. Uh, now it's time to speak about one of the most important things, which is uh, hero pairs for Snow Peak Rock and. There is one and obvious one, which like it's really easy to understand that Nico and Kinara is like one of the most obvious uh, hero pairs for Snow Peak Rock. As you can uh, know, like main skill for the Snow Peak Rock concentration, uh, like there is thirty percent to deal, deal more damage whenever enemy legion has a defense break and. Um, uh, Nico's first skill deals damage to target legion and inflicts defense break uh, for three seconds. Already synergy uh, between concentration and the Nico's uh, first skill. Uh, also, if you're gonna awaken uh, Nico, you're gonna have like uh, more defense break and have a 80% chance to deal additional damage, like another synergy to defense break. And also, the deputy hero for the Kinara, for the Nico is Kinara and. When Kinara will be awakened, uh, Kinara's Legion launch normal attacks. They have 20% chance to inflict defense break on the target Legion, reducing their defense by 20% for 3 seconds. You already understand the synergies between uh, Snow Peak Rock's concentration uh, and uh, Nico's uh, piercing shot, and also with the Kinara's awaken uh, skill. I know for a free to play players it's really really hard to awaken hero as you can see like I have only only invested all my legendary uh, tokens on Kinara and that's why I'm kind of close but that's not close it's pretty far for me to awaken Kinara I think it will be on a uh, next season other than that other hero pairs I honestly I don't see where it would be better uh, Snow Peak Rock rather than Nico and Kinara uh, like whenever I saw concentration at first I 
immediately understands that it was Nikos before the Nikos first kill. Also, Snoopy Croak is generally a marksman uh, precision warped, and I think it's it works pretty fine uh, with Nico and uh, Ginara. Maybe in the future we're gonna get more warpets, uh, more diverse warpets, and uh, the skill damage factor warped will be different for this marksman hero pair. But so far. I think Snoopy Croc walk, walk, uh, works pretty fine with this um, hero pair and I have been using this hero pair with the Snoopy Croc since the season 1 and I don't have any complaints. I'm dealing a good amount of damage, depends who I'm hitting, right? Uh, it's impossible for a free to play player and tier 4 player to deal a lot of damage to uh, tier 5 players, but um, I still uh, manage to get like at least 10,000 merits out of every single uh, legion uh, with the marksman whenever there is huge war. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak uh, for today regarding Snoopy Croc. Uh, uh, I hope you are liking the uh, content regarding like updated warpit guides um, because like a lot have been changing uh, regarding warpit systems and the old guides. Um, got really really old in my opinion yeah if you are liking the content if you are liking the videos i'm making uh, press like press subscribe that's always going to bring a smile on my face and i will try to bring as much um, informative content as possible and also if you have any questions regarding the game um, or regarding like anything you can always uh, write in the comment section and as you can see i am always trying to answer every single uh, comment by you guys yep so far thanks for watching uh, bye bye see you very very soon